What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White 2. Last episode we defeated the Pokemon World Tournament, we defeated here Arrival and Cheren as well as Colrus. And after heading out of here we're gonna see another cutscene. I barely recognize you in orange. You two are way different from when we battled in Aspertia City. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. Oh whoa, 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 did you see that guy? Ah, what was that just now? I'm going after him. Orange, come with me. Stop. There's no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, my little sister's Purloin. It might be with them. All right, well, see you later, Mose. I'm going too. I've got his back. Uh, does that mean we gotta go too? I don't, I don't know. What do you think, Colrus? I don't understand. That's not courage. It's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokemon with him? No. No. That's not possible. All trainers in Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. Then maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they must trust their partner. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for the advice, Colrus. I'm gonna run laps around you and head back down here. I guess, because that's where they went. Whoa, that is a nice looking boat. I think we've seen that boat before, actually. Ships only really a ship when it's crossing an ocean. Dock ships sure look lonely. Well, not this one here. This one is quite packed with, uh, with guys, as we will see in a, in a second. Uh, any second now. Any second now, and there he is. Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. Uh-oh. You guys, seriously? This is Team Plasma's base? Oh boy. Correct answer. So that's why, as you can see... Ha <laughs> ha, there are so many of us here. Is this all? I think you might need more backup. Ha ha ha, I'm so scared, big tough guy. All right, pulverize these punks. Plasma! Hey, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage. All right, well, you go ahead and do that. Apparently, I'm first, so uh, I get to take on two trainers while Tren and Moe's there take on like nine of them. So that's pretty great. It seems, seems legit to me. So we're going to go ahead and take on this guy first. Now, I got a chance to actually talk about uh, obviously what I... The, the question for last episode, or rather the comment the comment thing, basically. So, uh, I did say that you guys should recommend Pokemon that I should use. And, uh, we did receive a lot of really cool suggestions. So, thank you to all of you guys that, uh, submitted your request for Pokemon. However, I didn't actually remember that in this episode, we won't even be able to get to the next route. Um, or anywhere else for that matter, since we're kind of locked into this little Team Plasma event here. Uh, so I won't be catching a new team member until next episode, when hopefully we do. So, uh, yeah. There were a lot of really cool suggestions, and actually, I've kind of rewrote a little bit of my entire team. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but uh, there is a Pokemon coming up pretty soon. I won't say whether it's in a coming route or if it's actually in a route that we've already been to before, but it is a Pokemon that is coming in a near episode. So, anyway, there goes that guy with a coughing. I didn't even speed up that battle, I just realized, because Midna is just tearing through these guys with bite, quite literally, as they just flinch and can't even move, so... That is pretty cool. Sludge Bomb, however, is kind of dangerous as uh, we're poisoned now. But hey, guess what? Synchronize didn't even work because you have, um, you have the, you, you're not affected by poison since you are a poison type. Oh well. Let's see if we can actually survive a Sludge Bomb and take out this Trubbish because it's all rubbish. Hey, that's where the name of the Pokemon comes from. Great. Plasma! I don't know these guys. They're like frat boys. They're like, I don't even know. This reminds me of that trainer who messed with us two years ago. Oh, whoa, whoa. That actually reminds me of something else, actually. Um, it's actually, um, two years ago, it just reminds me of when, uh, Red, the whole Red situation, how, you know, he's, the Elite Four, like, or Gio Giovanni is like, two years ago, some rats beat up Team Rocket. Well, now it's kind of the same thing, so, I don't know. I'd like to show them what the two of us can do, so could you help me out? All right. Well, we're going to have a nice little duo battle with Cheren here, which I really like that they made Cheren such an important character in this game. Well, he's actually, yeah, he's actually a pretty important character as far as I know. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but uh, he does help you out throughout the whole game pretty much with Team Plasma and whatnot. Because uh, I guess this is a spoiler, but hey, Team Plasma, this is not the last time we'll see them. Whoa, I bet you didn't see that coming. Anyway, I am going to switch out to Tesla because I feel that uh, he can more... 
thoroughly handle this Grimer and Golbat, even though it's not really... Okay, never mind, you've got Thunderfang, bro. That's that's alright with me, but you're confused now, so that kind of sucks for you. But, uh, Tesla's actually not a him or a her. It's actually just a neutral, so I guess all I can do is call it it. Um, so, it can handle things pretty well with its Volt Switch. <laughs> I don't even know, I, I just threw it into Volt Switch, basically. But, uh, there goes Golbat. Thank you, Stoutland. You're a pretty cool Pokemon, man. And, uh, Tesla gaining a level pretty much for free, because he hasn't actually done anything yet. But he's about to Volt Switch, so that's kind of good. Because that might just take out this Grimer. I might as well just hold the speed up. I don't know why I keep going in and out of it. But, let's go on to Pumba here. And Mud Bomb avoids the attack. Oh, it's a Liopard! I wonder if that's the little sister's Purloin that has now evolved into a Liopard. I don't know, but... Stoutland there, hurting itself in confusion, getting pursued for arm thrusting powers to take on this Liopard, and it dies in one one attack. So that's pretty good. Uh, now all that's left is this uh, dumb little Grimer thing. Actually, he has another Pokemon, but can't get to that yet. We gotta take it out first. Boom! Guess who killed you? It was me, Pumba. Yep. There you go. So one more Pokemon left on this dude. Midna somehow gaining a level there. Um, I guess it's because he was in on when Grimer first attacked, I guess. Anyway, Heat Crash on Crocorock snaps out of confusion, so there it goes. We did it! Loisimos! Alright. What's going on here? Let's see. Thanks, you've really become much stronger. Help out Moe's next, okay? Yeah, because Moe's can't handle these guys. Look at him. He's going up against like five guys here. Tren just had... Actually, Tren has five of his own, so I guess I can't count. It was nine of... Not nine, it was ten of them, and we only handle two. I guess technically we're handling uh, six because we're helping out this guy with a double battle, but... Alright, whatever. Let's not get into the technical side of whatever it is that we're doing here. Midna is still kind of low, so let's go for a Screech and jump out of here, because I'm pretty sure Midna would die otherwise. Don't know why I use Screech on coughing, because it's already dead, but... Uh, oh well, let's just... Um, well, he's poisoned now too, and Midna is sort of maybe dead. Yep. Sorry, Midna, you tried so hard, but in the end it didn't matter, because now we're going to go to Pumba. I'm surprised they actually don't heal your Pokemon for this event, because they seem to heal your Pokemon for every single other thing in this game, but I guess not for this one. So there goes Duot with his awesome Aqua Jetting powers to take out the uh, coughing, and Heat Crash takes out the Grimer in one hit. Alright, so overall, not really that hard of battles going on here. Raticate and Watchhog, well... This is quite an unexpected thing here, as I don't know what to use Arm Thrust again. I could go for Watchhog or Raticate, but let's go for Watchhog. Actually kind of lucky there that um, Duot used Fury Cutter, because I don't think otherwise we would have taken it out. But, hey, luck was on our side, and now we're going to take out this Arm Thrusting Raticate with a Sucker Punch right and a Fury Cutter left. Fury Cutter? Fury? Fury. Not Fury. Uh, that was weird. That was a weird pronunciation of Fury. Anyway... There goes Team Plasma once again. We finished. Hey, you're kidding. This is no good. What should we do? That's the last of them. Well, now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Purloin? Good idea. There are a lot of things I want to ask about as well. Ooh, what is going on? Oh, boy, here he is. It's the big man. Oh, good grief. You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage, right? Wasn't your name Zinzolin? You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do with this ship. YO! Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, and we will rule the Unova region! Curious trainers, we shall not let you run around as you please. Well, that was easy. Tren just asked for his frickin' plan, and he just gave it out to us. Ah, by the way, we are not your... I know, but kick them out of here now. Move. Okay. Well, that was interesting. The Shadow tried. What's their deal anyway? Ah, Team Plasma, where did you vanish to? You didn't even know- you just got dragged out by three dudes with, like, white hair and you didn't even- You didn't even notice. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't even- Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon and we will rule the Unova region. What could that- What do you think it means? Are you dumb? What is- uh, uh, There's more Dragon-types than Reshiram and Zekrom, Cheren. You should know this. You were on an adventure with me and- and my friend- Okay, never mind. Um, we're gonna go over here now because there is actually an optional area that we can do down here and- I have no idea what I was talking about because the power actually went out and I had to re-record that or rather, I don't know, the file saved at least. But anyway, uh, here we are in the Relic Passage, which is this little area here, and it will actually be leading us to what I was, I think I was saying was a legendary. 
uh, or a pseudo legendary anyway, and that is Volcarona, the bug and fire type dude. So yeah, this little cave here will actually lead us all the way through to the relic castle where Volcarona is um, at, in this game already, so you can go ahead and catch that. But anyway, uh, there are a couple of trainers as well to battle here, so I'm going to take them all on, uh, beat them all up, and hopefully gain some levels from that as well. Uh, I actually think I forgot to heal up, or I don't really know, but we're going to take them on anyway, whether we forgot to heal up or apparently not. I guess Cheren may have healed us up or something, or I just totally forgot everything that I just did. So, let's take a dig to the face and take down this Drillbur with our mighty takedown power, or apparently not that power. Uh, but there we go, we take it out finally, even though we do have still recoil damage. So. Rog and Rolla up next. I don't really have anything to deal with these rock type Pokemon as of right now, but uh, we'll definitely get something later on in the playthrough. Actually, we do have Pumbaa's, um, Pumbaa's fighting type stuff, so yeah. What I'm saying is I'll eventually get a water type, and that'll make things a lot easier to deal with, even though I don't think there's any gyms left that actually require water type, because the upcoming gym I know is... Actually, it might be a spoiler, so I won't say, but I don't think we actually will need a water type for the upcoming gyms. But it's always nice to have one anyway, especially because surfing is indeed a really big part of all the Pokemon games. So uh, anyway, here in the Relic Passage, there are actually a couple of Pokemon that you can find, um, such as Raticate here actually is one of the Pokemon that you can find at level 29. Um, you can also find Onix at level 30s, Bulldors, Woobats, and Girders, and those are... Uh, Boulders, Woobats, and Girders are the most rare, or sorry, the least rare. Um, Raticate and Onix being the rare Pokemon to find in here. But you can find all of those Pokemon at around the level 30 range. So, yeah, pretty high level Pokemon to be found around here. Actually, they're just as high level as my own Pokemon. So that's kind of surprising there. Anyway, over here is a protein that you can grab yourself. Uh, now, before I forget, there are actually a couple of... Whoa, is this going to be a Drillbur? No, it's an Onix, actually. So... Actually, Onyx has a 20% chance of being in these little dust clouds, so that's actually kind of lucky, I guess. But I don't want an Onyx, so oh well. Um, what I was saying is there's a couple of things that are actually I wanted to update you guys on. Um, as far as videos on other channels and whatnot go, oh gosh, here's another Pokemon. It's a Drillbur this time. Um, we have actually started a new Minecraft adventure map on the Crew Hub, so if you want to check that out, I will probably there'll be an annotation at the beginning of the video, actually. Uh, but that's not the main thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I totally forgot, actually, what I was going to talk about. I think it's, um... I completely forgot, actually, so you know what? I guess never mind. If you want to check out the video on the Crew Hub, go check- Oh, no! I, f I remembered! Ha! My, uh, my, my good, uh, friend Jethro Tex started a playthrough of Pokemon Heart Gold. So if you guys like, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, um, go check that out. I will put a link in the description. Um, he also started Paper Mario, I think, the new one that came out, so if you wanna, if you're into that kind of stuff, there's also that. I think he's actually doing two Let's Plays at once, so go check those out. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart, because there is actually some remaining in it, apparently. Um, I do need a move that isn't Volt Switch, don't I? Because all I've got is Volt Switch and Thunder Wave, and that's not really- Oh, okay, that does cut it, apparently. We did kill it in one hit, so... I don't actually know if we're going to get all the way through to Volcarona today, but if we don't, then I will get done with Relic Passage today, and we'll do Volcarona in the next episode, because uh, it is Volcarona, so I kind of want it to be, you know, its own little episode, a special, special little thing, so anyway, we're just going to keep taking out these, uh, these Psychics, apparently, Psychic, I, I think it said Tully, but it looks like Sully, Sully Pones, of course, and he's a little... Sully Pones looks kind of Indian, and this guy looks kind of Indian, so that's kind of funny. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, go check those out. I'll put them in the description. Hopefully Midna here actually hits. Thank you, Midna. I love you so much. I love you like I love my mom. And, uh, like I love tummies. I don't know what was that. But, uh, here's a green shard, and, uh, that was basically all the updates. So, yeah, Crew Hub video. We're doing a new Minecraft adventure map. Uh, Jethro Tex, go check him out. He's playing, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Paper Mario Sticker Star. And, uh, that's about it. As for me, um, I think this is gonna be the only video for today, but starting tomorrow, I will be trying to once again upload two videos a day, uh, those being, or I'll, I'll basically, I'll actually make a vlog about it, because I do have a little bit of a schedule planned out, I guess, a schedule of sorts as far as uploading video goes, and I know that, um, it'll get screwed up as I go back to Puerto Rico, because my internet will be bad again, but I'll only be there for about a month, so when I officially move here to Florida, uh, that will be back to normal and I'll be able to upload 
on a decent schedule, so yeah, look out for that sometime in the future. There goes another Psychic. I believe there's a thing on this rock, and that is a red shard. So, uh, I think this actually is the entrance to Relic Castle. Don't quote me on that, let's actually just check for a second here. Is it? Is it not? Maybe it is not. Oh, yes it is. So, uh, that is gonna be it for this episode, guys. Next time, we're gonna check out the Relic Castle. Actually, I think there might be one more trainer or another down here. There is one more trainer over here as well as another hidden item on that rock. So, hello, low, low. You seem to know what pop is because pop music is pretty much just all about the whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. All the pop songs have the oh, oh, oh. And all the mo songs have the whoop, whoop, whoop. And all the watch hogs with their poo, loo, loo. I don't even know. But this guy's not even killing me, apparently. Is this super f Oh, I'm faster than you. Look at that. You couldn't even kill Midna. You must feel some kind of dumb. Hey, it's Moonlight. Basically, the one move that will make me so that I can never die. I'm gonna get rid of Takedown, actually, because... Uh, I think Return will do more damage, considering Eevee is so friendly to us. Or rather, Midna or Umbreon or whatever. Anyway, that is officially it for this episode. Next time, we'll be heading to Relic Castle and getting Volcarona. See you guys then. Thank you.